Welcome to Your Health, where we explore the latest in health across the country. I'm your host, Erica Cardenas. Today we're talking about cancer awareness and the importance of taking care of yourself. But before we get started, let's take a look at what's coming up on today's show. A great way to improve your health is by working out. Learn more about a gym that's always open for you. A former addict shares how he got sober and became a better dad. And as we head into the holiday season, keeping those extra pounds off just got easier. All that and more on this episode of Your Health. Joy Bus Dinery, a unique eatery that offers much needed support to those battling cancer. And joining me now is the founder, Chef Jennifer Carraway, to tell us more. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi, thanks Hi. for being here. First off, what is the Joy Bus Diner and why did you start it? The Joy Bus Diner is a hybrid social entrepreneurship that exists solely to provide free meals to homebound cancer patients. And it began in 2011 when my friend Joy became ill with ovarian cancer. I started preparing meals just to bring her treats, just to kind of show her how much that I cared about her. She had an amazing support system and did not need me at all. It was my way of showing my love for her. So I slowly throughout the valley picked up new patients here and there through the Case Manager Society of America and preparing the meals, organic produce that I got from Crooked Sky Farms and I would just go make these visits every week just to show them that someone cared and hopefully educate them on the benefits of healthy food. I kind of outgrew my kitchen where I was preparing all the meals, so why not open the kitchen to the public, have a nonprofit diner, and have 100% of the proceeds fund our free meals for homebound cancer patients. And so we opened in the middle of 2016, and we've grown exponentially since then. When we opened the diner, we were making roughly 12 to 15 home visits each week, and now we're upwards of 50 families that we're visiting each week. And so why are services like this so important for cancer patients? I think services like ours are extremely crucial to the well-being of the patient, not only because of the food. I mean, the food that we're serving is beautiful, it's organic, it's, it's lovely food and we're also educating the patient as well. But the well check that we're providing to the patient is great so that their case manager knows that this patient's doing okay. If they need anything, we're able to contact the case manager and let them know what this patient needs. But just to show the patient that there is a community out there that cares about them, that is invested in their interest and wants to be there for them and help them be better. Right, I'm sure it makes all the difference in the world. So let's talk national. Mm -hmm. um, are there services and resources like this? We found this organization called the Food is Medicine Coalition. And through them, I've been able to realize that there are other organizations like us on a much larger scale throughout the nation. So it's cool to see that this whole Food is Medicine Coalition movement is taking place and medically tailored meals are a thing and we're fighting to get that approved in Congress and to try to help more homebound cancer patients. Now let's talk about what's next for Joy Buff's Diner. We're hoping to add sort of a organic pantry component to the organization and we're hoping to be able to grow not only this location but possibly other locations to where we can help more patients because there is a huge need for this service, huge need. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Jennifer, so much for everything that you're doing in our community. If you'd like more information, head over to the Joy Bus Diner's website for more information. One way you can maintain a clean bill of health is by exercising, but many of us say we're just too busy. Check out a gym that works anytime. Here at Anytime Fitness Cave Creek Road, we're a community of people supporting each other to attain our goals and to achieve new heights. We are a team of strong bodies and minds where knowledge and growth flourish. We're a positive group of individuals bonding together to increase motivation to encourage a healthy, vibrant lifestyle. Together. Together. Together, we're unstoppable. This location is on the southeast corner of Cave Creek and Union Hills and is one of a kind among the Anytime Fitness franchise. We pretty much have two separate gyms that are together. So we have a traditional Anytime Fitness with all the machines and weights and cardio equipment that you might want, which also encompasses this other side of functional fitness. 
In our facility, we have over 2,400 square feet of just turf space. We have a 20-yard turf track, which actually allows you to run, jump, and move. We have sleds that you can push and pull on these tracks as well. My name is Jonathan Staley, and this is my Anytime Fitness. I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland. I started out as an athlete in Baltimore, um, so playing football, lacrosse, wrestling. Then when I was 19, I joined the U.S. Army as an infantryman. I did multiple deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. And then from there, I went to ASU to get my exercise science degree. That degree led me into wanting to help people get better and just get healthier in their lives. And that's led me to this facility where I can train and coach in a way that isn't pigeonholed by price tag. It's more of getting people results and getting them into a better life. My name is Susie Manning. This is my Anytime Fitness. I'm 73 and I'm proud of it. I just love movement. I love fitness. I love to play sports. And when I came to this gym and I saw that other room in there with that track, I mean, my inner child just went crazy. To sprint, it's like, oh my God. And so every time I come here, it's like, okay, hey, who's ready? Let's go. And I think everybody, there's that inner child that wants to play. So let him or her out and find something that's fun for you. My name is Frank Slope. This is my Anytime Fitness. I have 17 years with, uh, in law enforcement here in Arizona. I'm currently employed by the Pinal County Sheriff's Office um, as a deputy sheriff. So I have, I have one foot in the law enforcement world and then another foot in the fitness world, I guess. So I try to keep both sides fed. The Anytime Fitness franchise drew me in because when I worked that crazy shift work, just like nurses work and doctors work, so all of those lifestyles that work the crazy schedule, this gym is great for them. So it doesn't matter what time you come in or what you need, we're here for you. You can get fit and move at any age and let's do this. Anytime Fitness has locations all over the U.S. Just head to their website for a gym near you. Remember, exercise doesn't just have to be cardio or lifting weights. Studies show yoga also has positive health effects. So find something that suits your style. The purpose is to just get moving. According to the National Cancer Society, two-thirds of all cancers are preventable. One thing you can do is cut out sugary drinks. Not only do they contribute to obesity and diabetes, but studies show drinking large amounts may increase your risk for endometrial cancer. Stay tuned, we have much more coming up on your health. The experts challenge the myths of weight loss surgery and a place where kids actually like going to the dentist. to go to the dentist can be hard, but at the Super Dentist in California, they're creating an environment that kids love. Hi, welcome to the Super Dentist, how are you? Good. Super Dentist is literally the only office on the planet where kids literally beg to go to the dentist, right? We know that 30 to 40 million Americans have dental phobia which usually those phobias are formed when we're children. And they say dentistry is one of the top three fears. You know, death, public speaking, and going to the dentist. That's a pretty bad place to start with. Feels all right? Nothing's bothering you? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> as soon as you have teeth in your mouth, you have to take care of them because we have two sets of teeth, but uh, we have to take care of them right from the start. But everything looks nice and snug. You're doing a great job with your brushing. Go ahead and bite down. Good job. I actually like going to the dentist now because it's better. I mean, the name says it all. We are the super dentist. Would you like some strawberry or mint? It's nice to see that they're not scared to come to us. They're actually excited to see us, so it's really cool. So we're gonna try to eat floss with the silly string today, okay? So you're gonna grab one end. So when I had boys, I have two, of course, um, they've always been into superheroes. And it was about three years ago that I had to start getting them to the dentist. And I drive past the super dentist office and I saw the sign and I decided just to call and um, booked their first appointment and we've been coming ever since. <laughs> nice, almost there. See, you got it. Perfect. And then, oh, there you go. See, you it's, you know, a very important role. 
making sure that your kids understand the importance of their teeth and that they're able to maintain them through adulthood. And this is the foundation. And it's because of the super dentist that continues to bring us here. I don't think you can separate the idea of kids loving going to the dentist and loving to brush their teeth and having to make sure that they have good healthy teeth when they get older, right? Because if they don't like it, if they don't like going to the dentist, if they hate brushing their teeth, none of the other stuff matters. In the super dentist, it's a more, more fun experience than a regular dentist because there's characters that you get to smile at instead of going in there and seeing dentists with drills in their hands and having a frown in your face. Since they're little, um, make them have habits, uh, normal habits of brushing your teeth, flossing, coming to the dentist every six months as a normal routine. So I could continue with them when they're older. The dentists are really nice and they make you relax when they do all the stuff to your teeth. Taking care of your oral health is so critical. It's not just about teeth. It's about your physical health. It's about your psychological health. It's about your social health. And so we really take that very seriously. I mean, we do it in a fun way where we take our job is really serious and we want to make sure that we deliver quality care. We love our teeth and smile so. We love the super dentist. No cavities or crooked teeth. The super duper dentist. Sometimes we need a little help to get healthy. Experts estimate 200,000 people have bariatric weight loss surgery each year. Doctors at North Vista Hospital are busting down the myths surrounding this surgery. I'm Dr. Bernie Hanna. I run and practice Las Vegas Bariatrics, and we specialize in surgical weight loss. I've been director of bariatric surgery now at North Vista Hospital for the past four or five years. Over the past 15 years of doing bariatric procedures, I've done well over 2,000 or more surgeries, talking gastric bypass, lap bands, and now the main procedure out there, the gastric sleeve. Well, we do have myths with uh, bariatric surgery. Myth one is weight loss surgery is too risky. Bariatric surgery and weight loss surgery has been around for over 30 years. And with our current technology and the advancement of technology now, We've refined this process where now bariatric surgery is really not that risky. Every week I see patients in the clinic, post-op, follow-ups. Dr. Hannah, I'm off my blood pressure medicine. I'm off my diabetes medicine. Oh, life is so great. So this is what we like to see and what we like to hear. This is why I love what I do. Myth number two, weight loss surgery requires a long recovery time. Now the procedure time is much shorter. Literally, we can do a bariatric procedure in 20 to 30 minutes. Patients are up, moving around right away, literally within an hour after surgery, walking around. So the downtime is very low. And some patients within three, four, five days, they can actually go back and start resuming things. So myth number three, weight loss surgery is the easy way out. So with bariatric surgery, we teach patients that this is a lifestyle and the surgery itself, we don't look at it as an easy way out because there's a lot of work involved. Myth number four, eating will no longer be enjoyable. Well, you can still go to the restaurant, you can still order food. However, your stomach is smaller now. If I made your stomach one third the size, obviously you're gonna eat less. Patients can still enjoy their food. It's all about the quality of the food and not the quantity. When we talk about our bariatric program, it truly is a program. And we're supposed to follow our patients for at least up to five years after their procedures, so we have a regimented follow-up post-operatively. They have to see us in the office. They see our dietitians. They see us. We do monthly support groups. The nursing staff is consistent, so they know how to take care of these patients. So the experience from they walk in the door, coming through the whole process is truly a, a great experience. After your procedure, I consider you my patient for life. But North Vista Hospital, you can sign up for a monthly seminar where anyone's invited to come in, and that's at no charge, that's totally free. The physician, myself, is here. We talk about bariatric surgery, so it's really an educational experience for you. We're here to help patients change their lives for the better. Coming up next, a father shares his brave and inspiring story to get sober and kick his heroin addiction. And healthy habits that may lessen your chance of getting breast cancer.
Picking a heroin addiction is beyond difficult, but one father was able to do just that. He shares his road to sobriety and why he's grateful he found Decision Point Center. I went to school for a little while at ASU and then I, I started working full time doing construction, got a place on my own and, and me and uh, my son and my son's mom moved in together. I started drinking a little bit more and started drinking more frequently by myself. I was dealing with stress, anxiety, and I started turning to, you know, drugs, pills, whatever the case may be, kind of just searching for an escape. Me and my son's mom ended up uh, splitting up when my son was about three. I can't tell you how many times I said to myself, all right, this is my last night. You know, this is the last time I'm gonna drink or, or whatever. I had ended up uh, losing my apartment. I was basically living out of my car or hopping couches. And uh, I was on the verge of, you know, losing my son. At that point, I'm like, I need some help. I, I need to go to treatment. I did my research online, started looking at different places throughout the valley, and then um, Decision Point came up. You know, they kind of welcomed me in with open arms and were very encouraging. Some of the other treatment centers, they kind of put everybody into one big bowl and treat a lot of the clients the same. Like, whereas here, they have specific treatment plans for each individual. We have a really close community, a really great group of people here. We spend every day together. My first month here, I got to go on a canyoneering trip. And for me, that's a very therapeutic aspect because being out in nature is, is something I really hold dear to myself. Not only was it a great view, but it was a great challenge as well. It kind of correlates to what sobriety is gonna be like. You pushing through and not giving in when the times get tough is, is where growth is made. I've been here for 90 days now, and today I am graduating. They make sure you have a clear cut plan for when you leave here, so that way you're best set up for success. Decision Point saved my life. Uh, they didn't just teach me how to get sober, they taught me how to stay sober and they taught me how to love myself again because I didn't think that was possible before. Today I have confidence in myself, I believe in myself. I really am optimistic of what the future holds for me. I've kept in contact with my son since I've been here. I can be a present and sober dad for him and give him the father that he deserves. I know how it feels to feel hopeless and in despair, but there's absolutely a way out and you just have to give the opportunity to go into treatment. I believe that when you surrender, you know, when you stop fighting things, that's when you're able to make the growth. But I know it's, it's a tough decision to make, but it's the best decision I've ever made. I'm Blake, I'm 26 years old, and I was a heroin addict. Coming up on your health, breast cancer awareness tips. And Weight Watchers new eating plan that helps you navigate the holidays. The holidays are a time to indulge and with Weight Watchers new eating plan, you can eat those holiday favorites and still be healthy. Weight Watchers has something to deliver to most of the population of the country. Healthy is the new in instead of skinny. And healthy means that you're going to be eating healthier, moving more, even having a more positive mindset and getting more involved in your happiness. Weight Watchers is all about that. You know, we have a fabulous food plan that leads people to make better choices and we coach people into making better portion control choices as well. The Weight Watchers program that we have right now is called Freestyle. It's the most flexible program that we've had so far. By far my favorite. I think that it adds a lot of validity for me that as the program changes, I don't change. My weight stays the same, my habits are staying the same, and that flexibility is what members are really loving right now. The Freestyle program is built with enormous flexibility and what that means is that there's a lot less tracking. If a member is able to track less and eat more naturally because there's so many zero-point foods, over 200 zero-point foods on the food list, that means that any place you go you can find a food that's easily eaten and you don't have to track it at all. 
lots of flexibility. And they're usually foods that we really like. The other reason why a food might be a zero point food is because it's not a food that you would usually abuse. The food plan is accessible as well. You know, one thing that many members tell me is that, hey, you know, I spend less money on groceries now because I'm not going through the drive up window impulsively. I buy less junk food. It's surprising how cheap it is to eat when you eat the exterior part of the grocery store. You know, the fruits and vegetables, the lean meats, whole grain breads. You know, you work your way around the grocery store and stay out of the center where all that processed food is. I feel like there's a lot of freedom in the program and that flexibility is what members are really loving right now. We have meetings seven days a week, more than 65 locations across the state, uh, 200 and almost 70 meetings a week to choose from. So it's very accessible. Our staff do share their own stories and that's a powerful part of Weight Watchers is that everybody who works for Weight Watchers came out of what I say one of the chairs. That means that they have joined the Weight Watchers program, they've lived the program, they've decided they want to help others live healthier too and that's a big part of why Weight Watchers is successful. I can't describe what it's like to motivate and inspire other people to just make one good choice tomorrow one better choice, right? One healthier choice. And and that's, it's life changing. It's what keeps me coming back. They inspire me, I think, more than I inspire them. According to the National Breast Cancer Foundation, every two minutes, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer. But there are things we can do to help ourselves. Get regular screenings, that means mammograms. Check with your doctor about how often you should get one. Also, do monthly self checks. Look for changes in the skin like dimpling or nipple discharge. If you smoke, quit. Keep your body weight down. Losing just 10% of your body weight can help significantly. Nothing can prevent cancer 100%, but paying attention can certainly help. Thank you for joining us on Your Health. I'm Erica Cardenas. See you next time.